In the heliocentric model of the cosmos, the moon revolves around the Earth 13 times per year, traveling at 2,288 miles per hour, while the Earth revolves around the sun once per year, traveling at 67,000 miles per hour. The following model and animation illustrate how this is supposed to occur. As you can see, since the moon is revolving around the Earth, which itself is revolving around the sun, in order to maintain its regular orbit, the moon would have to be constantly and drastically changing its speed in ways completely unaccounted for by the model. In the outer part of its orbit, the moon would have to speed up 67,000 miles per hour in addition to its regular speed of 2,288 miles per hour just to keep up with the Earth. So the moon would then be traveling at 69,288 miles per hour when it reached the front of the Earth. At this point, since the moon is allegedly 240,000 miles away from the Earth, the Earth would catch up in just four hours, so the moon must continue traveling 67,000 miles per hour along Earth's trajectory while simultaneously continuing its now perpendicular 2,288 mile per hour second trajectory. Then, as it turns to reach the inner part of its orbit, the moon must now slow back down to its original speed, allowing the Earth to pass by. Lastly, as it passes behind the Earth, the moon must once again quickly accelerate back up to nearly 70,000 miles per hour before getting left in the dust. In addition to all of this, the Sun itself is allegedly orbiting the Milky Way galaxy at 448,000 miles per hour, further compounding the problems and calculations of the heliocentric model. If this were true, then the Earth, Moon, and other planets would all have yet another set of ridiculous and impossible corkscrewing accelerations and decelerations necessary just to keep up with the sun. And for the cherry on top, all of these calculations have been assuming perfectly circular orbits, but the actual heliocentric model claims that the moon's orbit around the earth, the earth's orbit around the sun, and the sun's orbit around the Milky Way are all elliptical, not circular meaning there would be even more additional accelerations and decelerations to calculate depending where each one is along its elliptical path. 